to graph this one as a circle, first thing you need to do is complete square. Complete square gives you the center point of your circle and it gives you the radius of the circle. So let's get started. What I want to do is I want to get x terms together and I'm going to draw a big box over here. Later on I'll explain what this box is. So far I'm just copying everything down and then I'll add another triangle number here. Okay, I'm putting box over here and triangle over here. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to find this magic number on this side so that when I group those three, I'll have a perfect square. Since I added a number on this side, I have to add on this side so I don't change my original, original equation. Next thing I need to do, I do the same thing for the y. I need to add a magic number over here and group it and make it a perfect square. Since I added a triangle number here, I need to add another number over there. The number I need to put in there is half the coefficient in front of x and square it. Okay. Um, 5 over 2 squared. Same thing over here. The number I need to add in there is half of the 6 squared. This becomes a 9. So I have a 9 here. I have a 5 over 2 squared. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to group those first three terms. I have x plus 5 over 2 squared. That's a perfect square. Okay. This is what we mean by complete square. And uh, I have a y minus 3 squared here. And figure out here, it's, it's easy. It's 25 over 4 plus 9. Here, we're almost done. So let's complete, co complete it and finish this one. So I have a 25 plus uh, 36. I have a 61. So basically, I have x plus 5 over 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 61 over 4. Now remember this one is really r squared. Okay, so that's radius squared. So you radius, what I always tell students if you want to make sure you don't forget taking the square roots, just write it one more step. Okay, in math, slow is quick. It's almost oxymoron. But the reason slow is quick is that when you do slow and do the right the first time, it's actually quicker so you don't have to recheck and rework it out. So here's your center. Now remember, setting this equal to zero gives you the first point for the x-coordinate. And setting this one equal to zero gives you the y-coordinate. And then your radius is radical 61 over 2. Right? That wasn't too bad. Okay, have a confident day.